Hi. I finished another from the long list, Women's Pies long list, The Big Beautiful World by Karen Lloyd. And it's been a long time since I have struggled with a book. And this one I really, really struggled with. Um, one reason, I suppose, it's it's sci-fi and I do not do sci-fi. I just, sci-fi horror, I, I tend not to, to you to do those. So sci-fi is not my genre of choice anyway. But I think it was more than that. I, I just couldn't get a handle on what was going on. I, the, the, um, so the blurb, the world is changing and humanity must change with it. Climate change has radically transformed the planet. Meanwhile, Earth is being observed from afar by other civilizations and now they're ready to meet us. So first contact, climate change, it's not a novel about climate change. It, it didn't say, I, I didn't really work out what had changed. Um, and the, we're, we're being observed from afar. There was talk of different planets, different cultures, different aliens, for another word. But I, I didn't get a feel. I, I didn't. The, these places were just talked about. You know, the, the, these places were just mentioned, but there's nothing about the peoples. I couldn't get a handle on any of the characters and the world building just totally lost me. Um, I... It just lost me totally. And when I finished it, I did a bit of hunting around for different reviews and having a look. And I came across this review from somebody who is into sci-fi, who is into this genre. And her comment about this book was, she said that if you start with this book, because apparently this is... The third in a series this is the third in the series and she said that if you start in this book you have very little context for the first third of it because you're assumed to have a grounding in the world building from the other books so i wasn't going mad i i <laughs> so it wasn't me going mad not me being able to make sense of it so for someone someone who is into this genre, who has read the other two books, she said that for this one, you're assumed to have had the world building, the grounding from the other two books. So if you have one, then the first third doesn't really make a lot of sense. <sighs> a book about first contact. And I did I just didn't get what was going on um and i wasn't even really sure what earth was thinking about first contact i i just was totally lost totally confused and way way out of my comfort zone and slightly perplexed as to why a book that is the third in a series is on the long list when reviewers that are into the genre say that you need the other two to give you a grounding. I, I, I don't know. I, it is a book that has not worked for me at all. And it is a long time since um, I've had a book that hasn't worked. I didn't DNF it. I, I did plough through because I don't like DNF in books. It's just my thing. I, a book has to be really, 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 really bad for me to DNF. So I, I always plough through because, you know, I, I think, well, if people have written them, then I'm going to read them. Um, but 
I, I really, really, really struggled with this. And um, it, it just isn't for me. Um, I'll be very interested to see what other people make of it because it just didn't work for me at all. Um, but we're all different, aren't we? We all like different books and that's the beauty of book lists because everybody takes something different from different things. So I will leave you now. I've now got three left to read um, off the long list. All of them are on the order from the library. So no idea when I'm going to get them. Um, so happy reading. Take care.